All right, guys, we're going for a walk today. Adio. We are heading north on this quiet country road that has no name. I cannot find any name or reference to it anywhere, but it is one that we walked about a month ago southbound. But now we're doing northbound from roughly the point that we started southbound. So you've seen most of it that you are not going to see on this video. Did that make sense? <laughs> this is all new, but we've done part of this road before, the southern portion. Now we're doing the northern portion, and this is just a nice, quiet walk in the country. That's, that's what we're doing. This is a gravelish road. I'll point out some things as we're walking. We're just doing a walk today. So this is a uh, access little uh, driveway, really, to a field right there. Not going anywhere. I want to point out, this is a manhole cover for the city of Leon. And it's new. That's like 2022, I think. So even when you're pretty far out, notice these are all fields. Any houses out here, if these are houses, right, are, are mostly shacks for working in the fields. As why people would be out here, unless you're building a beautiful country house, which of course you can. I think from Google Maps that that actually allows you to cut over to another road, but I'm not not testing it today. We've got fields and orchards on most sides. It is a hot one that I'm walking today, but gorgeous. Beautiful day, just really warm, but it's perfect for being out for a walk. I've got a camera. I've got some time. It's a beautiful day. Got to just enjoy it. Rural Nicaragua never disappoints. And one of my favorite things is that there is always a pulperia. You never end up far from a place where you can stop, recharge your phone, and get a drink. So that is what we are going to do here. because I am very warm and looking forward to something refreshing. What do they have? They have defruta. That's not what I'm looking for. You know, for something with electrolytes, they have Coke Zero. Definitely not what I want when I'm super hot. Pricks, if you see that there in the middle, is the local cola here. All right, we're gonna head up, see what they have. Okay, so I'm out on a really long hot walk and I had to stop and get something to drink because it's just way too warm. So I stopped at a little pulperia out in the country and they didn't have any of the things that I'm used to getting, but what was cold is a liter of sea fruit. Never seen this, never heard of this before, but it's actually made in Nicaragua. So I'm excited to be able to try it. And let me tell you, it is delicious. I am really surprised by how good this is. Now this is the fruit punch. I don't know if there's other flavors, probably. But this is piña, sandía, and fresa, which is pineapple, watermelon, and strawberry. It's fantastic. I'm going to be looking for this, but I've never seen it. I've never seen any store carrying it, but I mean, seriously, it's good. It's definitely an artificial fruit drink. It's fruit punch, right? It's not It's not a fruit juice kind of thing, um, but they do have it on the sign, which I'm going, I'm going to set that down, take you over. So I'd seen this while I was waiting right here. So I've never seen those, but now I know to look for it. Now, the, the name is a joke because it's sea fruit and it's clearly new and the big kind of fruit flavored drink. So the sugary thing, it's kind of replaces um, Sunny D in the United States. So think about it, Sunny D. Here it is, De Fruta is the name of it. Now, the joke is that De Fruta means of fruit but this fruta means to enjoy. And so it's a, it's a play on words of three things, of Sunny D from the United States, of fruit and enjoy. So it's a big thing. So this one's called Sea Fruit, clearly a play on D fruit. The layers of wordplay on, on fruit drinks here is uh, pretty extreme, but this is delicious and I'm glad that I tried it and having a nice walk out in the country. Now that I'm gonna be uh, hydrated again, be perfect for another couple of miles. All right, after a little stop at a countryside pulperia for a really large liter of artificially flavored sugar water, but it was tasty. I'm gonna get back on the road and show you guys more of the walk north out here in the country. All right, that was a nice little refreshing break for me and probably a good refreshing break for the camera as well. It is super hot out here, so it overheats really easily. And when I'm out doing these walks, it's gotta do stabilization that it doesn't have to do when we are doing more stationary things on a tripod so it actually uses more processing power as well and it's noticeable that it struggles a little bit more 
when doing this stuff. Now this is a tiny little place over here that is for sale. I think it's just... So when we talk about things for sale in the country, this is like, seriously, how would you ever know? And who's a potential buyer for that? Maybe one of my audience, but I'm guessing not. Probably not. But it's a nice, quiet spot. Obviously, you'd want to do something dramatic with it. Look how beautiful this open, just... Trees and bushes. You can tell this kind of... Oh, I'm stepping in horse poop. How did that happen? <clears throat> nice little house here. This is just such a nice quiet day. There you can see a radio tower. Now I saw a radio tower on another walk that I did somewhere in the area here, but I, I don't think that's where it was. That doesn't seem possible, but it would be too close. I don't know. I guess one could be Clara, one could be Tigo. I don't see another though. I guess maybe I'm turned around a little bit. I'll try to show some of the houses and stuff. Now that place has no windows or doors. I'm guessing that's some kind of barn or bodega. There's a house behind. You can see they have a little trail here that goes up. That was a lizard running across it. So I'm guessing that's like a storehouse or something in the front, not a, not a house for humans. We got a little house here, some music going on. The road's a bit lower here, so everybody's got steps going up. There's a number of people out back hanging out. This house needs some work, but they're working on it, you can see. Then over here, we got cows, I think. I see in the back there, yeah. That is a cow in that pasture. Little tiny chickens in the bush there. All right, and here, you'll notice it kind of just organically happens, but there's a little kind of path and instead of walking on the road, which is perfectly fine, we can go into this lovely wooded area and walk through here instead. So why not? Other than there's cows with us, the cows are definitely open to this area. A little path going off there through the woods to someone's house, but this one runs straight forward. There's something on the path in front of us. Interesting. Let's go see what it is. <clears throat> it's interesting that there is a fence here blocking us from what? <laughs> we can walk to and from the road quite transparently. No idea what that fence is for. Because there's no fence here. <laughs> We have a different vantage point on houses and stuff. This is probably a taxi coming by. I can't tell. It might just be someone's car. That's a pretty decent house over there. Big driveway. When I was walking through before, I saw someone drive out of that driveway. So there is actually a tricyclo in on the path up here. Now, you'll notice there's a really well-worn path here leading off to that house. Oh, something's biting me. Hold on. Damn. See, it's a lightly wooded area. Could easily be an orchard, some kind of pasture, and a tricyclo just waiting for someone to need a ride. Yeah. 
Now at some point, this was a church over here on the left. It is now for sale. No details. It says Se Vende. It's gotta be a small church and I don't know how much is for sale. But you can see the driveway there and the stairs and presumably that little house there on the left with its own steps that matches in color to everything else. It's probably that whole, I'm gonna say complex. So that's probably overstating the point but that whole little manse and church thing is probably what is for sale. <clears throat> it's a little bit larger house over here. Very rare to find a multi-story out here, but certainly you can build them if that's what you want. And they're a little store here. And uh, this path kind of goes Nowhere in particular, so we're gonna head down to the real road here in just a moment and continue there with this very interesting post here. No idea what that is about. And here we are at the top of the road so this is where it actually comes to an end, and what you're seeing in front of you is actually the airport. So this is a, once I'm up here, I'm gonna take a pause so we can bring up a map so you can get your bearings. But this is an odd unnamed road so it's really hard to reference. I have no idea how you tell someone what road this is without a map. We've got these nice houses. This is 7th, I believe, running on the south side of the airport. And uh, <laughs> they see me filming. And uh, that is the where you could store planes. There's a couple airplanes over there. And uh, that is looking west towards the beach. Although you can't take this road all the way through. And the houses. And this is the road that we just came from and that appears to be the tricyclo that we saw on the path so they got passengers already that was a good place to be waiting so i'm going to take a moment while we're standing here to bring up the map we're currently facing south and you can see where we are and uh figure out what we just walked up beautiful area if you're looking for an opportunity out in the country this could be the place for you it's very easy to get into populated areas. And I also like this road that runs along the south side of the airport. It's quite nice. That was an older version of me riding by on a motorcycle in case no one noticed. I feel like a time traveler. I just wit witnessed myself drive by. But 20 years from now. Depressingly, it was more like five years from now. <laughs> I forget how old I actually am. So here you go. You can see these cute houses along here. The entire road on the south side of the airport, I find to be a very pleasant, quiet, attractive area, but there is a bit of traffic here. The road we just walked up has essentially no traffic, but out here you actually get a bit of traffic because it's, it's a popular connecting road between some major communities. Now we're in Sutiava here and uh, we're on the southern section Sutiava and along the airport you can kind of see them on the left here are a lot of little shops they pop up during the day some of them do soup some of them do barbecue some of them sell clothing some of them sell drinks so that tells you a lot as to how popular this road is that it's a it's a big place to come along and get respados or whatever in uh, in the neighborhood now this corner that we're coming to here is 17th. And that is the road that runs north past the eastern edge of the airport. And as we continue east on this road, Get a lot of people just out for a ride. It is a quiet day. Nice day for just, hola. So actually 17th, so if you're looking at Google Maps, 17th, which goes up there and comes this way, 
they show there being a road there that you can keep going on. So if you're looking at a map from Google Maps, you'll be like really confused because there's nothing there. Now, as we head into kind of Barrio Sutiava proper, you see that we suddenly go to nice pavers. We suddenly go to much denser housing. Everything changes pretty quickly. And it gives a different feel. So the airport changes all the roads around here into very country roads as opposed to more outer city roads like they are here. And you see a lot of really nice small houses down here, well colored, well maintained, nice yards. This is a nice, quiet, affordable area, but desirable. People like living here, people seek to live here because it's it's very family friendly. This is kind of more a middle class area where you still want city living as opposed to getting out into the into the residencias and developments and gated communities and those kinds of things. If what you're looking for is something in between, I like Sutiava an awful lot. It is a hard area to not like with a lot of opportunities, a lot of space. Your dollar goes farther. You can see these houses here have nothing behind them. So in theory, you could you can build pretty far back and you're up against trees. It's nice and open and airy. If you have dogs or kids, it's nice to be able to be outside, run around, not have to worry about being in the dense city but it's easy to walk into the city from here, easy to do city things, easy to get deliveries and taxis and things like that. And this crossroad here should be 16th. They have a really nice wall here. And this one on the corner is especially nice. I'm gonna zip across and get a look at it. What a cute house, look at that. Goes back a ways. Oh, it's all open, these two are together. There's someone in there, really nice bushes and, hola. hola. Hey, that's just a really attractive spot. Here's the intersection. This is a spot that we show a bed. I come down 16th every so often. Hola. And uh, here we go from a moderate amount of traffic to quite a bit of traffic. This is where we're really in Sutiava. And Sutiava, while it's a quiet, family-oriented neighborhood, is definitely a busy one where people go outside, get exercise, walk everywhere, take tricyclos. People are out and about all the time, more than any of the other barrios, I think. Sutiava is a get out and be outside kind of place. And so that is east to the barrio there and north here at the Pulperia Liberia. And look at all the people coming down the street. Like this is, this is just a middle of the day. What time of the day is it? It's noon. And this is how many people are out in the incredible sun. Very, very warm. And people are just out for a walk. So thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. Really appreciate everyone who helps support the channel, helps make this possible. It takes quite a bit of work to come out and do all the recording, all the filming, get all the places, edit and upload. So I really appreciate everyone who helps out with that. Thank you very much. As always, share on social media, tell your friends about the show, and I will see all of you tomorrow. And if you wouldn't mind one of these four videos that pops up on the screen, any one of them, if you go and watch that too, that helps make the show that much more possible because it tells YouTube that you really appreciate it. Thanks.